This is MPI's quick clean drawer magnet. To test this magnetic separator, we'll first unlatch the faceplate and we'll open it to clean it. We'll open it slowly and all the tramp metal should fall off into the collection bin here. This is removable and can be removed and hold all your tramp samples for later testing or evaluation for the quality department. Uh, before I start my testing, I'm gonna inspect the unit for any wear or maintenance requirements. I'm gonna inspect the gasket to make sure that it's in good condition and seals properly. Uh, all MPI drawer magnets use a half inch diameter O-ring cord gasket that's pressed into a machined sealing face so we get a nice good compression seal. I'm gonna check the tubes themselves to make sure that they're getting stripped clean of all the tramp metal. If there's some little residual metal, that's fine, very fine pieces like dust I'm talking about. But for anything more than that, then we would recommend replacing these strippers, which are a typical maintenance item. I'm also gonna feel the tubes for any damage and also any wear. So if I'm starting to feel the pull pieces inside here, that might tell me that the tubes are wearing and they might need to be replaced. So if you're running an abrasive application, that's something you want to check for, in which case your tubes can be replaced individually as required. Now that I've checked all the maintenance, the drawer seems to open and close nice and easy. Uh, it seems to be in very good condition. I'll start my testing. So to start my test, I'm gonna test on the inner poles only. There's dead space at the end of these tubes, so there should be no magnetism here. While we're running production, that's held outside of the product flow in the back over here. And the first pull piece as we get into the product flow area, right before we get into the product flow area, has a lower pull value because we're slowly removing the magnetism to drop off the metal at the end. The first pull piece is gonna be a lower pull value as well because it doesn't have as much magnet material on one side of the pole. So we'll test right here in the middle, which is where the product flows through as well. So that's the good representation of where we wanna do our testing. We'll attach our test piece and we'll zero out our scale. I'm gonna to check to make sure that my scale is set to max so I can register the peak value. And I'm also gonna make sure that I have the correct units. In this case I do, I have it set to pounds. I'll hold the scale as shown here so I have a good safe grip on it. I'm gonna pull slowly and pull at a 90 degree angle to get an accurate reading. And there's my pull value. I'll repeat that two more times and on different tubes. It'll zero it out and do my pull. Notice I'm not using this convenient nylon grip here with good reason. If I pull from here, the scale can go flying and um, hit yourself or somebody else or, or something else. So uh, you have a lot more control with a good grip on the scale here. I'm also gonna test the bottom. Let the scale zero out and do my pull value down here. I'll quickly check to make sure the rest of the pulls are all good as well. But those three pull values should be a good accurate, represent, accurate representation that the magnetic separator is in all good condition. With my test completed and documented, I'll close up the separator. Latch it closed. Nice loose grip is all that's needed to seal this. It does not have to be any death grip on this to keep this thing sealed. And then I can remove my tramp metal. That's it.